Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create this glass orb and then how to quickly change its color. Create a new document by pressing Ctrl or Command N. Make the width 870 pixels, the height 870 pixels, and the resolution 150 pixels per inch. The color mode is RGB and 8 bits per channel. Then click OK. Open your gradient tool and make sure the linear gradient icon is active. Click the gradient bar to open the gradient editor. Click the black white preset and click OK. Go to the bottom of your document and press and hold Shift as you drag up the gradient tool to the top, then release. Pressing Shift kept your gradient vertical. Next, we'll locate the exact center of our document. Go to View and make sure rulers and snap are checked. If they aren't, just click on them. Go to the ruler at the top and drag down a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have snap checked. If you don't see the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. Go to the ruler on the left and drag out another guideline until it snaps to the center. Open your elliptical marquee tool and go to the center of the guidelines. Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag out a circular selection approximately this size. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill the selection with black. To do this, press Shift plus the F5 key at the top of your keyboard, which opens the Fill window. Open the Flyout list and click Black. Then click OK. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Next, we'll change the black circle to a color. Double click the thumbnail of the black circle to open its layer style window. Click Color Overlay and the color box. For now, in the hexadecimal field, type in 0078FF and click OK. You'll be able to change the color later. Click Inner Glow. Click the color box and type in 000D4F. Then click OK. The opacity is 75%, the source is Edge, and the size is 250 pixels. Then click OK. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Fill it with black by pressing Shift plus the F5 key again. And since Photoshop remembers the fill that you picked the last time, just press Enter or Return to accept it. Go to Filter, Render, and Lens Flare. The brightness is 100%. And the lens type is 50 to 300 millimeter zoom. Then click OK. Go to Filter, Distort, and Polar Coordinates. Tick Polar to Rectangular and click OK. Go to Edit, Transform, and flip vertical. Go back to filter, distort, and polar coordinates, and this time tick rectangular to polar. Then click OK. Control click or command click on the black circle to make a selection of its shape. 
Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the active layer. Click on the chain link to unlink the layer and its layer mask. This allows us to reposition or resize either of them independently of the other. Click the orb to make it active and press Ctrl or Command T to open your transform tool. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it in or out until it's the same size of the circle under it. Then press Enter or Return. Change its blend mode to Luminosity. Next, we'll brighten our orb by clicking the Adjustment Layer icon and clicking Levels. In order to prevent the background from brightening, we need to make the Levels Adjustment Layer into a clipping mask. To do this, you can either click the Clipping Mask icon, or press Ctrl-Alt-G on Windows, or Command-Option-G on a Mac. I'll make the Highlight Input Level 150. Next, we'll create a reflection. Click between the orb and its layer mask to activate the chain link, which links them again. We'll place all the layers that comprise our orb into a folder. To do this, shift-click on the bottom layer to highlight all the orb layers, and press Ctrl or Command G. Make a copy of the folder by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Go to Edit. Transform and Flip Vertical. Press V to open your Move Tool and press and hold Shift as you drag the copy straight down until it touches the bottom of the top orb. Reduce its opacity to between 30 to 50 percent. Next, we'll fade out the reflection. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask next to the top folder. Click the chain link to unlink the folder and the layer mask. Press G to open your Gradient Tool. Go to the bottom of your document and press and hold Shift as you drag the tool up to the top of the shadow. Then Release. To hide the guidelines, press Ctrl or Command H. Let's slide the orb and its reflection up. Shift-click on the bottom layer to highlight both folders, and press the up arrow key on your keyboard until you're happy with its position. Notice the layer mask stayed in place because we unlinked it. Next, we'll change the color of the orb and its reflection. Shift-click the top folder to make both layers active, and press Ctrl or Command G to place them into another folder. Click the Adjustment Layer icon and click Hue Saturation. Clip it to the folder to restrict the colors to just the orb and its reflection. Drag the Hue slider to the left and right to change the colors. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.